research has shown that the strongest predictor of post-secondary success is success in mathematics in secondary school. Yet policy in the state of Texas lowered the standards such that students were not required and in some places weren't even offered access to these courses. Our biggest discrepancies were somehow in perception. You could have a student with the exact same score as another and one student would be in an advanced course and the other wouldn't be. We co-created policy changes, not opting in students into advanced courses, but if they were qualified, automatically putting them in those courses and having them opt out only if they chose not to, closing the equity gap between white and black high-performing students by over 85%. We know that students who graduate from high school, college ready in math, are more likely to attend college and to persist in college and graduate. I'm part of the E3 Alliance Steering Committee for Houston Tillotson University. We saw that students were much less likely to pass math than they were to pass their English. And so since math is required for achieving a degree, regardless of major, what we saw is after one try in math or two tries in math, students often left the university if they did not pass. One of the things that we've worked very hard across the region is to provide multiple options for mathematics that is appropriate to the student's career aspirations. We were putting all of the students who were going to take math for liberal arts into the pre-algebra, but we thought, well, let's look to see if that course has any relevance for the math for liberal arts and success in that class. And there was only like a 5% correlation of content. So we eliminated that course as a prereq, which takes one semester of math out of their curriculum. We've drastically changed the course catalog and the counseling for what courses students take. Now there is much more diversity and not just that, much more success of freshmen in mathematics coming into Houston Tillotson that gives them the foundation to succeed throughout their college career. The peer learning network is uh, a group of professionals coming together to work together for a common good for the community, and in this case, a student success. E3 Alliance brings together teachers from the high schools and working with the professors at the university. We lose quite a number of students in the first semester. We know that most of our students have low socioeconomic status, they are minorities, that they are first generation in their family to go to college and so they, they don't have that support from home. And so one of the things we are doing is mentoring. Sometimes you just need a little direction for the students to turn them around. For the last two years, St. Edwards has been part of the Peer Learning Network. Transfer students have always been an important population for St. Edwards University. About a quarter of our undergraduate enrollment are transfer students, and so we've been working for a number of years to, to really address barriers that transfer students face. One of the things that we're working on is simplifying and making more seamless that transfer process without additional cost and without additional time. We conducted a series of empathic interviews with current St. Edward's transfer students. And so we were able to form a transfer student organization where they've been able to connect with students at the university. Student voice is powerful to student success. We now have student retention committee where we have faculty members who are meeting regularly with, with students from each classification, you know, sophomore, freshmen, uh, juniors and seniors. We're now hearing their voices continuously. Mm -hmm.